tell you that uh, how you are going to assess the patient of pediatric genital abnorm. So for the examination of pediatric genital abnorm, we have to keep six points in our mind. Number one is uh, gait of the patient. Second point is intermedular distance. Third is femoral antivasum. Fourth point is tibial torsion. Fifth is metatarsus adductus. And sixth, most important point is whether we have to check deformity in the femur or in tibia, which is going to help in our surgical correction. So we'll take one by one that how we are going to examine and how we'll assess these patients. Number one. While examining the gait of the patient, gait, when you see the patient gait while in the standing positions, we will see the outward deviations of the leg from the knees right and patient is having wide best gait. Second point is we have to check the intermedial distance. For that, we ask the patient to lie down in the supine position and uh, touching both the knees joint and uh, patella should be facing upward. So in distance between the two mid manually we have to check and generally in this rule of three we have to follow that less than three years the distance between two manuals will be less than three centimeter and now third point we have to check the femoral antiversion in that we have to ask the patient to lie down in prone position and uh, thigh knee should be bent at 90 degree angle and uh, just check the internal rotation of the thigh and uh, normal femoral antiversion is 10 to 15 degree but in the cases of excess femoral antiversions, the internal rotation will be more and the lateral border of the foot it touches to the side of the bed. Then how we are going to check the tibial torsion? We ask the patient to lie down in prone positions and flex the knee to the 90 degree and check for the thigh and foot angle. Normally thigh and foot angle will be in between 10 to 15 degree. But in the cases of tibial torsions, it is more than 15 degree. Now we have to check the another point, metatarsus adductus. Generally, metatarsus adductus, how we can assess? In the normal foot, the line bisecting the ankle, it should be coming in the first valley space. But in the cases of metatarsus adductus, it's going away from the first or second valley space. So that line we have to draw and check whether the patient is having metatarsus adductus or not. And the last point is whether you have to check deformity is in the tibia or the femur. For that, we need to check the lateral distal femoral angle and medial proximal tibial angle. Normally, it's 87 degree. If it's getting any change, it is more than 87 or more or less than 87 degree. Then it either deformity is in the femur or in the tibia. So this is helping the planning of the surgical correction. Thank you.